Hello everybody and welcome to the first video of my emulation series emulation on Microsoft Surface Pro 2 and uh, today I'm going to talk about emulating uh, the Sega Dreamcast now this console is of course quite special but this is the latest this is the last console released by Sega and uh, many people will remember it for that and uh, actually it's very good at capturing the arcade feel of the you know late 90s uh, or early games of the 21st century. So here we have uh, Capcom vs SNK, a 2D game, and uh, I will tell you something when it comes to emulation. Here I'm using the uh, emulator which is called DC MU and. Uh, this is one of the two main emulators for the PC and uh, the first of them is called Null DC Null DC++ if I'm not mistaken and uh, I found that it just doesn't work for me so well first of all because it's quite glitchy and uh, second because uh, it doesn't really perform well with the controller that I have and uh, for those of you who don't know the kind of controller I'm using and how I actually managed to turn my Microsoft Surface Pro 2 into a handheld gaming device. You can check out my video. And uh, uh, looking at this 2D title, I'm going to say that it's, uh, you know, it's quite well working. Uh, we see no uh, glitches whatsoever. And uh, the performance once you have started actually playing the game is amazing. So the only problem that you might have is uh, um, some slowdown when there is a screen change or maybe uh, some loading and so on. Okay, moving on, we have a Dead or Alive 2, and uh, this is a 3D game apparently. It gives you a solid 60 frames per second. Actually, many Dreamcast games have an option where you can choose between uh, 50 or 60 hertz mode. So, of course, it's maximum 50 frames per second or 60 frames per second, depending on what you choose. But, of course, you should go with the 60 frames per second option if you're playing it on an emulator. Okay, one more game. Uh, this game is called uh, Cannon Spike. And uh, this is actually quite an obscure game. For instance, I never heard of it. And uh, it's made by Capcom. Apparently, it's an arcade game ported to Dreamcast and uh, here you have a selection of characters uh, a couple of them are actually from the Street Fighter franchise and uh, this is basically an arena uh, what do we call it? Twin Stick Shooter, yes so here I have Kami from the Street Fighter and she does her signature move and uh, she can also strafe and shoot so let's check out another game and uh, this is a game I had an issue with it's called Dragon Riders Chronicles of Pern apparently it's based on a book of some kind and uh, there we have a huge problem the game performs at about 40 or 50 percent of its original speed and um, the first problem you are going to see uh, when it comes to emulation is sound when you don't have 100% uh, uh, correct emulation and uh, when your CPU isn't performant enough uh, you will hear this kind of thing that happens because of um, low audio buffer as I can understand. So this is actually very different from a native game that you're playing on your console or PC. Whereas uh, if you have a problem with the uh, performance, then audio and video are actually separate. So here uh, you just get choppy uh, action in terms of um, video and uh, choppy sound which is uh, really really horrible so sometimes you can turn on auto delay but uh, sometimes even that doesn't help uh, really so we'll talk a little bit about it 
uh, in some other emulators as well. Okay, so this game is called Jet Set Radio. Uh, it's a cult game, uh, meaning that it has a huge following. And, uh, well, I don't know much about it, so uh, I just want to demonstrate that it works perfectly. And uh, there are no performance issues or glitches. Uh, on more game, uh, it's called Power Stone. And basically, I would say that uh, this is uh, an attempt at uh, 3D fighting made by Capcom. And uh, you will see that this is a 3D arena fighter, it's not really impressive, but quite fun, you know, it's not so much of a fighting game. And uh, it has this strange, you know, cube arena feeling, almost like something from, you know, the ZX Spectrum games, such as uh, Head Over Heels, for instance. Uh, so yes, here I am, trying to mash buttons, and uh, this game is mostly about power-ups, not really about combos and stuff, and uh, it must be fun to play in um, you know, two-player mode. So, it runs perfectly. Uh, as I have previously mentioned, the problem with this um, DC emulator is that sometimes you experience a slowdown uh, during loading. And uh, this is actually not about performance of, of my machine, because I heard from people who have, uh, you know, absolutely, uh, you know, uh, really powerful and PCs, and still they have this issue. When you try to load in a game, um, it, it is temporarily suffering from, uh, you know, torn audio, so to say. Okay, this game is called uh, Skies of Arcadia, and uh, I know that many people love it, because there are not so many JRPGs uh, on the Dreamcast, at least not so many... Um, you know, European JRPGs, released in Europe, I mean. So, what about this game? I didn't actually show you the cutscenes, and uh, the cutscenes are pretty terrible in terms of performance, but the game itself, uh, it works, and uh, it's not so bad. So here we have a combat scene, and uh, even though it's a cutscene, there is no slowdown. It was only at the very beginning of the game. So when there are some transitions and things like that, yeah, you do have a slowdown, but I, I think you can handle it. So the last but not the least is Shenmue. I will let you listen to the horrible audio slowdown in the cutscene. So you heard it, it's like 30% speed, probably, but uh, after that it gets much better, even during some later cutscenes, and when you actually get to play the game to control your character, uh, it works just alright. So that's it for DC emulation on your Microsoft Surface Pro. Thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for updates because next we have uh, PSP, PS2, Nintendo GameCube and the Wii, the you know high-end consoles in terms of emulation, the 6th and the 7th generation coming up and if you have any requests please uh, let me know in the comments. Thank you!